Yes, come on, go on. Wow. <laughs> That's leaning the bike more than you did. <laughs> oh, yes. Professional, so professional. What did you say? Who came off twice? Did you? Yeah. We're going to have to follow you with a camera. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, you're welcome. <laughs> we've, we've got our target for the camera. Yeah. Thank you for tuning into the Motor Machines channel today. You know, I appreciate having you around. Hopefully, you're going to sit back and enjoy this upload. This is part two of our Wales trip. This is the Broken Hand episode. First then, we've just returned from HQ, we've had some food, a cup of tea, re-energised and we've been split into three groups now, and we're in the A group. And, to be honest, it's starting to get interesting now as people are up in the pace, but in some sections, to be honest, I do feel a little bit on the limits that I'm out of my comfort zone, mainly because I'm still not dialled in properly to the WR250, and also, I've barely ridden a big bike in the last year because of all these lockdowns and stuff. And also, you want to see the terrain. You can't really tell from the GoPro Hero 7 because of the stabilisation. But it has a lot of whoops and lots of ruts and divots, ups and downs, changes of camber. It's, it's got everything. Um, and yeah, hit one of those whoops wrong and it's bon voyage. That's for sure. Oh yeah, no dust. That's brilliant. Oh. Splash here. <laughs> Lovely stuff, this is what. You might be able to see this, but in my personal opinion, some of us are getting very confident, possibly overconfident in our own abilities. The conditions feel prime. It actually reminds me of Spain here at the moment. When I was there, it definitely reminded me of Spain. Wales is just completely different to what I'm used to around here. But I'm having fun, the adrenaline's going, and that's what it's all about, having fun on two wheels with your mates. We certainly are. This is where I start to get the impression that I'm getting left behind. But I'm not going to ride like a lunatic and hold on for dear life. Every time I go around a corner, I kind of thank God that I got around there. No, I'm riding within my limits. I feel like I'm put up in the pace. I'm having fun and that's what it's all about. Also, you've got to consider that this is a woodland is of public use. I think it's 1500 acres. So you could expect traffic from any direction. Plus the loggers working here. So you've got to consider them. Another thing I've noticed is the group comes to sudden halt sometimes and that can be around a blind corner. We 
because there's so many pathways going off left, right, and centre that people would get lost in trying to find them in this wood. Well, it'd be like a needle in a haystack. I love this. So that's in their defence. Bit of a drop here, lads. Hey. This is a bit sketch. Bit of a bump there. Hey. It's all this loose stuff on the top, it's all that Welsh blue slate and things like that. It's, trust me, you lock up on that, you're going to wash out. Oh, I just see his back, I can't see nothing. <laughs> I'm riding blind now, the dust. Getting a bit dodge. This is going again pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Woo! -hoo. What a buzz. <laughs> Got puppy arms in front, Neil behind, Grant there. And another guy, I can't quite remember his name. It's not being rude, I just can't remember all these different names. Little bridge coming up, I can see. Come on, God! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> He's slowing me down.
Try and keep your tyres on the floor. Oh, heavy brakes. You all right? What? Oh. Let me put it on the side, excuse us. You're all it, mate. You're all cane in it, yeah? That's the fucking... You just gotta give yourself a gap, haven't you? Nope. You just hit some of that Neil and skidded off. Close to two. Mate, don't be quite so close. <laughs> you broke your hand? That's oh fucking hell. Man. I've done the same for that one though. And the exact doctor's name was, you're no Claudia Schiffer, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a few years ago. This. <laughs> right, I'll give you a CT if you want. If you, and then... Can you move anything or? Here after as well, if you can take it. It's a good Wow. You can't ride now anyway. Um, I've got to be honest, that was going at some. <laughs> I was at my limit. <laughs> he started veering off here, the front end washed out, and he went rolling off down across there. I got it on camera. I'm, I'm far behind because I uh, that's why I just quickly... Did you get it on the camera? Yeah, but with a GoPro, you don't know how far it catches ahead. Man down in front then. We've got a abort mission for a few minutes. He's going to have to, um, well, get some medical attention, I expect. If you can't see, his knuckles pushed back on his little finger. Um, he's got a badly bruised elbow and forearm, and that's only the instant injuries. Obviously, adrenaline's going to be holding back pain and maybe some other knocks. That has put a dampener on it. I'm a bit gutted for him, obviously. Um, it's going to be gutted. We're three, four hours away from home. It's a weekday. He's meant to go to work tomorrow. Oh, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare now. 